what is the biggest challenge that we face in this AI age? Of course, artificial intelligence, the grand master of the technological diaspora, has undeniably taken center stage, orchestrating an era uh, where machines learn, reason, and even create with astounding power. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. However, we are still way behind creating absolutely human-like robots. Way behind. Yes. But that is the biggest challenge. That is the biggest challenge in the coming years. Maybe in two years, three years, five years, ten years, a decade, probably, or it could be take it could take more time. So that artificial intelligence ultimately understands the world, and that will be incorporated into absolutely human-like robots. We can call it. Uh, lab robots, lab bots, sex robots, or even uh, cyborgs, whatever you want to call it, that doesn't matter. It is human like, it's real life, real life robot. Now, we know that AI is has been doing a lot of things for last couple of years, diagnosing uh, diseases with uh, unsettling accuracy to composing symphonies, creating videos, images, stunning images, videos. And of course, it, uh, it its reach, AI's reach seems boundless. But now, as the digital dust settles down, and uh, from this AI revolution, a new, perhaps even more audacious challenge looms large, that is, realism in robotics and in this video uh, you are watching some ai generated videos before you rise they look like uh, real life humans which they are actually not however but this is the future this is the future we are looking at why you might ask after we have taught machines to think, uh, do we now uh, obsess over making them feel lifelike? Because, you know, af after thinking comes feelings. And that is the biggest challenge. And with the help of feelings or sentience, we call it, we understand this world. Then we reason, then we uh, do some deep thinking, etc. So, Think about the uncanny valley, that unsettling sensation we get when something looks almost but not quite a human. When you chat with uh, your Gemini 2.5 Pro or chat GPT or some other chatbot, sometimes it looks like someone is uh, sitting just opposite you and they are answering your questions, they are understanding you. And it is a really, really very uh, sensational feelings, isn't it? And of course, there are moves like uh, Tesla's Optimus or Figure AI or some other stuff we, that are really doing a lot of things in this field. However, technical hurdles are frankly mind-boggling. Beyond the impressive uh, strides in AI's brain, which enabling uh, robots to understand human language, perceive the physical world through advanced sensors like LIDR and cameras, and learn from experience, there lies the colossal task of engineering a body that can truly convey life. And 
when we touch a human, the way they react, the same way the robots will react. So, it is, it is, a, it is a kind of engineering that is really not does not happen every day. It takes time. That is why we are talking about developing compliant materials that mimic flesh first of all, because when you touch a skin of a robot. It should be like human, right? And not only that, uh, the it will also we need artificial tendons, muscles, with elasticity, and strength of their biological counterparts, and building sensory systems that can feel pressure. Of course, without feeling pressure, how will we? How they will act to your desires? Isn't it? Otherwise, it will be a disastrous experience so therefore there are a lot of things to be done temperature texture human like sensitivity it's not just about force feedback it's about the subtle touch the gentle grip that distinguishes a robot from a glorified claw machine companies like agility robotics with their uh, bipedal digit designed for logistics and figure ai focused on general purpose humanoids for warehouses and retail sectors are making remarkable progress in physical locomotion and dexterity. But even their impressive feats of balance and movement as seen in digits ability to walk across uneven terrain still lack that undefinable spark of life. And that is the point. That is the point that is the biggest challenge. And of course, you should consider the complexity of human robot interaction. If a robot is to truly integrate into our lives, whether as a companion, a caregiver, or a colleague, it needs to do more than just execute comments. It needs to understand the unspoken cues that we understand as humans. The cues, right? So when you look at someone, they will understand what you mean. Sometimes, not always, but sometimes. The subtle shifts in our mood, nuances of our expressions, these things uh, should be adopted by these robots. Can AI, no matter how advanced it is, it could be AGI or something more advanced, truly imbue a robot with emp empathy, which is, which is the most important question, or even the appearance of it, at least things like empathy. Research arts are exploring artificial emotional intelligence, which we call AEI, aiming to equip robots with the ability to perceive and even simulate emotions. But this brings up a host of ethical quandaries. Can a robot uh, genuinely feel? Or are we merely creating sophisticated mimics, perpetuating a charming illusion. The very concept of robots developing non-human emotional states is a fascinating topic, no doubt, if not slightly terrifying also. But uh, what happens when their internal emotional apparatus diverges from our own? What will happen then? So ultimately, the quest for realism in robotics is a reflection of our own desire for more connections, a longing for something familiar in an increasingly automated world. We have mastered the logic, now we crave the soul, the feelings, empathy, and a lot of other things also. It's a challenge that transcends more uh, than engineering and delving into the realms of psychology, philosophy, and even artistry. So therefore, a lot of things, uh, we'll see a lot of things to come or happen in the coming years. So let's wait for that moment, those historic moments. And it will happen. It will happen definitely soon. So till then, goodbye. And see you in the next video. If you really like this video, please hit the bell icon to get notified. And don't forget to subscribe. It means a lot to me and 
and share with your friends if you like the idea so see you in the next video till then goodbye stay safe and take care